Hello everyone. Welcome back to the crash course series and it is assumed that student has undergone various details of the subject and it is just the quick revision of the facts. So let's begin with microbiology. Louis Pasteur, this man is Louis Pasteur. It is known as father of microbiology. So Louis Pasteur is the father of microbiology. He disapproved the abiogenesis theory and he coined the germ theory. So he says that disease is because of a germ. So he coined the germ theory and he gave concept of three vaccines. So back then, uh, Louis Pasteur discovered three vaccines, which is you can remember from CAR. C is cholera, A is anthrax and R is rabies. So rabies vaccine was also discovered this time. Apart from the germ theory, pasteurization concept was also given by Louis Pasteur. And he gave liquid culture concept. So liquid culture concept was given by Louis Pasteur. And the Koch postulates we talk about. So Robert Koch, the guy we'll be talking about next, Robert Koch gave the solid medium. So liquid culture was given by Louis Pasteur. So first liquid culture concept was given and then Koch discovered or he gave the concept of solid media concept. So the important thing you have to remember is Louis Pasteur discovered the germ theory. He coined the germ theory and this is a very important point that can be asked in the question. Germ theory was discovered by Louis Pasteur. This is the guy. This is Louis Pasteur. Now coming to the another man. This man, he is Robert Koch. So Robert Koch is the father of modern microbiology. Now the father of microbiology is Louis Pasteur and the father of modern microbiology is Koch. So remember from the Koch postulates given by Robert Koch, he discovered a tuberculosis as well as the cholera bacilli. So tuberculosis was discovered by the Robert Koch and he gave the solid media concept. So solid media concept was given by Robert Koch and Louis Pasteur gave the liquid media concept. And the father of microbiology is this man who is Louis Pasteur and the father of modern microbiology is the Robert Koch. Now coming to the Koch postulates, uh, according to the Koch postulates, there is an association that is present between the organism and a disease. So it is like that micro, that the tuberculosis, the mycobacterium tuberculae, it causes the tuberculosis diseases, cannot cause diphtheria. So there is a direct association with the organism and the disease. Then there is a culture. If you isolate the organism in the, you, you should be able to isolate in the pure culture medium. Then if you inoculate this microorganism, you take culture, take the specimen, take the bacteria and put this bacteria into some animal. And in this animal, it should cause a disease. So this is inoculation in the animal and it can cause the same disease. So if you inoculate in a, in a rat, it should cause tuberculosis. This is the Koch postulate. There is also re-isolation of the organism from the animal. Now, you take an individual with tuberculosis. You take an individual with tuberculosis, you culture the tuberculosis in LG medium, say. And uh, then in this, from this medium, you take the mycobacterium tuberculin. From this, you inoculate into a rat. It should cause tuberculosis in the rat. And from the rat, you should be able to again take out mycobacterium tuberculae. And uh, so there should be re-isolation also from the organism uh, of from the animal. And it, ca it causes antibody production when this antigen enters the body. So this is the coach postulates. So for example, mycobacterium tuberculosis, tuberculae will also cause the tuberculosis disease. So it will be always an association between tuberculosis and it can be isolated. If inoculated in the animal, it will also cause tuberculosis and the infective animal dies from it. And from the animal also, you should be able to re-isolate again the organism. So in the autopsy, uh, the autopsy material in the LJ medium, Lawson Johnson medium, you can re-isolate antigen and the antibody is produced against this antigen. So this is the Koch postulate. So there are two bacteria that doesn't follow this Koch postulate. One is lepra. So leprosy, uh, you are not able to take the mycobacterium leprae from the culture medium because it needs a parasite to grow. So it requires a living organism to uh, isolate the bacteria. So that is one of the reason it does not follow the Koch postulate. Apart from that, Treponema palladium also doesn't follow the Koch postulate. So there are two bacteria that doesn't follow the Koch postulate. One is leprae, which causes leprosy, and another one is Treponema palladium.